Hey everybody, it's Ronan Dave. I am here with Paul. You may remember him from such videos as, what is that, Rash Doctor? Uh, no, I already did that joke. Uh, yeah, from uh, the Yamanote hike. Yeah. Yeah, one year ago. It was, just yeah. over, yeah. Yeah. And where are we today? We are in Kamakura. Yes, Kita, Kamakura to be exact. Yeah. North Kamakura, and we are, we're gonna do a, a day of it here. Uh, this is in June, late June. It's the hydrangea season, uh, in Japanese, Ajisai. And we are going, maybe, uh, to a temple that in Kita Kamakura that's famous for the Ajisai, uh, Megetsu. Megetsu Inn. Megetsu Sugetsu. <laughs> uh, but I've discovered there's a lot of people here, and this is a Friday. It's a weekday, and it just shows you how, uh, how everyone just wants to get out and about these days. I think I came here in either 2020 or 2021 in hydrangea season, and there was hardly anybody here on a weekday. <laughs> But like a small army got off the train we were at. <laughs> yeah. So people are going to do this yeah. on a weekday, don't do it. Week. Yeah. And like I said, even on a weekday, as you, as you will see, uh, it may be difficult. Oh my God, look at how many. Oh, oh that's a lot of people coming from there. <laughs> we'll see how this goes. We're going to try to go to this temple, walk down. The, we were going to do the Daibutsu Trail, but one problem in June, it rains a lot and uh, gets very muddy, so we're gonna skip that and just walk down to Kamakura on the on the road. Hit a couple temples along the way and go to the main shrine. Maybe uh, do the uh, Gion Yama Trail if it's not too slippery. Uh, but we'll see how it goes. I'm sorry, sir. <laughs> All right, so do you know whose grave this is? No idea. It is oh, the, it's oh. <laughs> Hojo Tokuyori. Yes, yes, the Tokuyori. <laughs> right. The Tokuyori. Okay, yeah. You know that guy? No idea. Oh, okay. He was one of the re Hojo regents of what we call the Kamakura period, which is 1192 to 1333. Um, uh, I say regent, but actually it was more, he was basically the head of Japan. Mm. Kamakura politics is rather interesting because it started off with a shogun, which was a military leader, uh, not, uh, with the emperor supposedly the head of the shogun, but you know, uh, on paper. Shogun family died out, and his mm -hmm. in-laws took over. Uh, they did not take the title of Shogun for themselves. Instead, they gave it to uh, a member of the nobility in Kyoto, but it was an empty title. It was basically, it was the Hojo that were running the show, and Tokuyori was one of those. And he lived in the middle of the 13th century. He's mainly famous for being very much about Zen. Mm. Yeah, but not right. now, but not now. Okay. Yeah. And right. yeah, yeah, uh, very uh, famous for like living a very simple life, mm. okay. and known for his wisdom and so on. And he lived in this area, uh, and then when he died, he was buried here. Mm. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Fair enough. Yeah. Cool. And his son is the one who was governing the country when it was uh, attacked by the Mongols. Ah, okay. Yeah, Tokimune. Yes. Fair enough. Alright. Alright. And like a true Britishman, we stop for tea. Well, you're having coffee. Yeah. I'm having matcha tea. So here we are at Megetsu Inn. Okay. Um, this temple, even though this temple actually was built after the Kamakura period. It was built in around 1394 for one of the Uesugi family. Uh, Nori, Nori Kata, I believe. Yeah. Megetsu is his Buddhist post, how do you say, posthumous name? Mm. 
not really. Yeah, he, he was an important figure in the post comic period to some degree, but uh, you won't really find much in, on Wikipedia about him. His brother, though, rather interesting, he was the Conre, which is the deputy, mm. deputy to the vice shogun. So, okay. bit of history. So, Kamakura shogunate taken down in 1333. Mm -hmm. Imperial power is restored for a short time. Then in, uh, that ended. Samurai rule was reestablished. Right. A new shogunate was set up in Kyoto, in Muromachi, and that's what we call the Muromachi period. Mm. And that shogun was named Ashikaka Takauji. He put one of his sons, it was Moto uh, Uji, uh, here as like a vice shogun because he really wanted to set his capital also in Kamakura, just like the uh, the other shogunate. Um, but he realized things were so chaotic in Kyoto that he needed to stay there and keep things uh, uh, nailed down. Mainly because the uh, emperor, the emperor that he was supporting, that he turned against, ran off to Nara and started uh, another court, mm. and that started the uh, two courts period and like off and on civil war for decades. So he needed to stay in Kyoto and keep things on lockdown. So he sent his son up here uh, to be like his vice shogun. But as often happens with these royal, uh, like semi-royal, well, royalty, uh, I think it was, ooh, yeah, his son uh, or grandson started having ideas of attacking Kyoto on his own and becoming the shogun in Kyoto. But uh, Norikata's brother committed seppuku mm. and as a way to tell uh, the vice shogun up here, don't do it. Mm. Nice. Mm. That was very nice. We just got complimentary tea. Mm. Yeah, very kind. Mm. That's why you, you gotta love Japan for that. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Did you see the rabbit? Yep. 
Yeah. It's very rubby. I know what you're thinking. The only good rabbit is a Welsh rabbit. But. Yeah, I guess so. I guess so. But, and Bugs Bunny, too. Yeah. yeah. Now, did you see the window, though? Yep. Yeah? So, are you enlightened? Because the, the window is known as Satori no Mido, the window of enlightenment. You know what I was enlightened by? Not standing in line to get my picture taken yeah, in front exactly, of it. Yeah. It was like, no. Yeah. Can you imagine how it would be on the weekend? Yeah, crazy. Yeah, the line would probably be out to here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Just so everyone can stand up, oh, here I am at this window. Yeah. But now we are enlightened. We are now one with Zen. Oh, that, is, that is true. Oh, yeah, let's go that way. Yeah, I was Yeah, when I when I take my friend here, mm -hmm. not here, but the camera. Uh, yeah, it's like the big four. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Uh, All right, so that was Megetsu, and what did you think? Uh, Thoughts? Yeah. yeah, very nice. Mm. But, um, yeah, I've never seen that many hydrangeas in one place before. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, it was quite nice, yeah. All right. Not the best if you've got a um, pollen allergy, but uh, yeah. <laughs> my nose is a little bit itchy, but yeah, overall pretty good. Yeah, they definitely... Uh, well, the nickname of this temple is the uh, Ajisai Temple, and boy, yeah. do they live up to that. It's like, yeah. The... <laughs> no, it was good. The, the little tea room was there. Mm. Yeah, nice. that was a nice little, nice little break. Yeah. Yeah, so I definitely recommend visiting this temple in June to see the Ajisai. Uh, don't come too late. We got here just about the right time. There was just a little bit of withering on some of them, but for the most part, they were really really in their full bloom. Mm. But these days you don't want to wait to the end of June. No. Everything everything seems to bloom early these days thanks to global warming. And once again, let me stress, try not to come here on a weekend. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you saw the crowds today and this is a weekday, so you can only imagine how this will be on a Saturday or Sunday. All right, so now we're gonna walk on the road to Kamakura proper. Maybe taking a temple or two before we come out to the uh, the big shrine, Suragaoka Hachimangu Shrine, to be exact. What do you know about Kamakura? Um, I don't know. It's quite a nice place to come to. Yeah, um, but I don't know a whole lot. No. Well, I mean, you've been here a number of times, right? Yeah. Yeah. What's your favorite parts of Kamakura? Um, to be honest, when I come down here, I often go to the beach. Mm. Yes. Um, hang out there for a bit. Yui Ga Hama. Mm. Um, nice. Yeah. Nice place. One of my favorite places to come. Mm. It's just got a very different uh, atmosphere to Tokyo. Yeah. And, yeah, it's nice. But it's, it's still very close, only like an hour. Yeah. On the local train, so. Uh oh, the stairs. So we're outside of Chujoji Temple. Yes, the very one. The very one that says no photography inside, so we're not gonna go inside. <laughs> Still, it's a nice temple, as we can see outside, but we're here for, this is Ajisai Hadrangea season, so we wanna see and take pictures of Ajisai. But this, anyway, this temple is uh, rather interesting. It was built for the, uh, for prayers for the founder of the Ashikaga shogunate, Takauji, by his son Moto Uji here. And he needed a lot of that because he uh, killed a lot of people. Mm -hmm. But you have to do that to become a shogun. Yeah. All right, so I guess we'll go. All right. On to Kamakura. Yep. Let's we'll see what the regulations are here.
All right, so we just visited the small temple of Innoji. Is that how you say it? Mm, yeah. <laughs> yes, and what did we see inside the temple? Uh, a lot of statues mm -hmm. for uh, sort of kind of gods, the, mm. the deities that uh, uh, judge you after you, you've died. And yes. Talk about like, um, yeah, which path you're going to take. Yeah, so you get a choice of like six uh, realms that you can go to in the yeah. afterlife. Uh, the worst one is to go to is Jigoku, which is hell. Right. And then another bad one is uh, Chikusho, which must be realm of beast, but in on the uh, thing they misspelled it to the realm of beats, which actually sounds pretty good. <laughs> yeah, I could <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> But yeah, this is a this is a cool little temple on the way to Kamakura. Mm. Only 300 yen and some incredible statues of the kings of hell, uh, or the the kings of judgment. Mm. And the the big one, of course, is Inma, uh, the the main judge. Yeah. Uh, supposedly carved by a famous sculptor called Unkai. I think it was his name, Unkai from the Kamakura period. Mm. What did you think of that statue, the biggest one? Yeah, it was mm. pretty intimidating. Yeah. <laughs> to be honest, uh, you know. Yeah. I'd like so you... to meet him down the dark alley. Yeah. You know, um... Or in the afterlife. I'm sure, sure. Yeah. You know, so. All yeah. right. But yeah, really nice. Yeah, nice and temple. you can see the uh, hydrangea here. Quite nice. So definitely worth, if you're in Kamakura, I definitely recommend popping in. Yeah. Mm. All right. So now on to Kamakura. Just let me know. So now we're at Suragaoka Hachimangu Shrine. You've been here a number of times. Yeah, quite a few yeah. times, yeah. Yeah, what's your thoughts? Uh, yeah, it's nice. Yeah. Um, it's basically the main shrine of Kamakura, really. Yeah. Um, certainly yeah. the biggest. Yes. Um, it's pretty busy, mm -hmm. to be honest. Uh, certainly for a Friday yeah. afternoon. But, um, <laughs> but no, yeah, it's very nice. It is very nice. Um, yeah, big sight, lots to see. Uh, did you ever see this tree when it was standing? Oh. If I did, I yeah. can't, can't quite remember it, yeah. Yeah, I can't remember exactly when, but I'm sure I saw when I first got here. Um, but yeah, it, uh, it got torn down in a storm. Oh, okay. But this thing had been here for centuries. What's interesting, oh. if, I, if I'm right, if this is the dream I'm thinking about, this is where the last of the Minamoto shoguns was killed. That was uh, Minamoto no Sane Tomo in 1219. Mm. Someone was hiding behind that tree, jumped out and cut his head off. Nice. Yes. <laughs> Pleasant. Yeah. And that's when the Hojo uh, afterwards took over uh, unofficially as regents right. and then gave the title of Shogun to someone else, at that, which at that point was an empty title. But mm. yeah. Fair enough. Yeah. Cool. So watch out, go. watch out behind the trees in Kamakura. There you go. Yeah, so Suragaoka Hachimangu Shrine, the main shrine of Kamakura. Originally first built in 1063, but closer to the sea back then. Then it was moved here in 1180 by Minamoto no Yoritomo, who later became the first shogun of the Kamakura period. Hachiman is the Japanese god of war, and he was like the patron deity of the Minamoto clan. 
Just doing the quick nickel and dime tour of Hachimangu. We got more stuff to see. But it's nice seeing the Tanabata de uh, decorations put up. I've not seen that before. Yeah, very different once you get out of the main uh, touristy areas, isn't it? Mm, yeah. It's only very quiet. <laughs> it was very noisy out in front of the cigar. Uh, Surugaoka Hachimangu Shrine. Uh, takes forever to say that. <laughs> so many people and so many vehicles. But now, yeah, it's quite quiet. Yep. All right, look at that. Yep. So now we are starting the Gion Yama hiking trail, one of the shortest trails in Kamakura. We're starting from the opposite end. Most people start from the other side, coming this way. But we like to do things differently. Oh, <laughs> all right, what do you think? Well, is it just gonna be muddy path? I d don't know. Like if it's these steps, you can kind of avoid it. Yeah, no, there, it won't there be. It's really thick. Oh. <laughs> like really wet and thick, yeah. All right, your call, man. Um, I've only got two pairs of shoes. All right. I probably prefer not to, right? Okay. Look at it. I don't second thought we're not gonna do the Gion Yama Trail because one thing to keep in mind in June it's the rainy season these trails the three main trails get very muddy <laughs> yeah. yeah if I had like fast shoes mm-hmm sound I, don't I mean even though this guy comes from a country of rain and mud uh... <laughs> yeah my hiking boots mm -hmm. are at home all right but I should point out over this way, this is where the end of the Kamakura period happened. This is where the last of the samurai and the last of the Hojo clan committed seppuku here when the city w was falling to their enemies in 1333. So like, like several hundred samurai all opened their guts right around here. Nice. Yes. Not the most pleasant way to go. No, I guess it's by your own hand. Which yeah. <laughs> Man, I would really struggle to be able to visit him. That's cool. Mm. Mm. Uh, the Tories were having parties in Downing Street. <sighs> Cool thing about Kamakura, there's just lots of little shrines and temples dotting the way. It's nice to go to temples where the tourists don't know about. <laughs> mm. Yeah, so Hongakuji is a nice little temple, free, that you can enter. 
not far from the station. Nice Aji side there. What did you think of the temple? Yeah, it was alright. Yeah. yeah, so originally it was uh, built for the Shinto god Epis by Minamoto no Yoritomo. Later, the priest Nichirin, who started up his own sect of Buddhism, he, when he returned from exile from Sato, he stayed at the Epis Do Hall because he had nowhere else to go. So for Nichirin people, it's a nice little pilgrimage for them. But for other people, your Katana folks, the grave of the swordsmith uh, Masamune is there. the main road. All right, so now we are wrapping up our day in Kamakura. How was it for you? Uh, yeah, really quite nice. Mm. Um, suddenly got really, really hot. Yeah, <laughs> we were expecting it to be like a dark, gloomy day. Yeah. Like but usually no, is in rainy season. Yeah, it's a, it was very nice. Mm. You know, lots of nice sights. Nice food. Yes. Good Ajisai. Hang yeah. Hydrangea. Now we're just going to have a beer before we get on the train. Yep. Kamakura craft beer. Yep. I did a video uh, review of this beer ages ago. Alright, so cheers. Cheers, what? What would you say is the best part today? Oh, um, yeah, I'd probably say the first place we went, the place with the Ajisai. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. may get to, yeah, yeah. Well, that's where we spent most of the time. <laughs> yeah, and yeah. I like the, um, the Hell Temple. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> that was really cool. Yeah. And and hardly anybody there, that was another yeah, nice thing yeah. about it. Just, it was very, like, the, mm. the uh, literature we got with it. Mm. It, was pretty, it was very informative, mm. and it was yeah. interesting, so yeah, it was cool. And it was just nice to walk through Kamakura on a, basically a nice day. And our lunch was excellent. Yeah, very nice. Yeah, uh, the, yeah the Hemp Cafe. No, it was a good day. Mm. Yeah, I mean, we're probably high now, but we'll come down with this. Okay. All right. <laughs> so anyway, so as always, I highly recommend coming to Kamakura. This is Ronan Dave. See you. Bye-bye.